Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I am Lily and in this video we're going to talk about all food types that we have in the game with their prevalence, localities and conditions. We have more than 20 types of food in the game, both animal products, animal produce, seafood and plant food. Some needs to be processed further to be suitable for consumption such as wheat and flax crops, while others can be processed further to get different types of food. The tribe loves food that has been processed such as dried meats, bread and cheese. Most food types we have though can be eaten just as they are. Let's start with the animals, their locations, their prevalence and their products. We have both red and white meats. Red comes from all animals in the game, while white meat comes from fish and seafood. Red meat can be obtained from all animals, either via hunting them or from self-dead animals that you can strip for both their meat, hides and their bones. From the bones we also get bone marrow as well as the ordinary crafting materials. In Neolithic timelines you can find all animals in varying amounts wherever you go in Europe. But some animals do need specific conditions to be met before they will thrive. These are the goats and the sheep and they must have elevation and mountains nearby, otherwise you will not get them. Due to the climate, Mesolithic timelines are more restricted, especially the more northern parts of Europe. The further back in time you go, the more restricted you are, both with types of animals and their amounts. If you go 10k BC to, for instance, Norway or Denmark, you will find only hares and dogs. And as you go more south, more types of animals will become available. As the millennia go by, however, you will start finding more prey in the most northern parts of Europe as well. White meat from fish will come from any body of water, while clams will need to either be on the coast or within a short distance of the coast in a river that is running out into it. The ocean will, in addition, offer much more pools of fish than any river will do. The animal produce in the game are the honeycombs and the milk. Honey comes from the bees that you can find in tree stubs all over Europe. The colder it is, however, the less bees you will have. Milk is obtained from your domestic adult female goats and cows. The milk can either be consumed as is or processed into cheese via a dairy station. Domestic animals can only be obtained via accepting migrants that bring their livestock with them. Moving on to the plant foods. First on the list is flax crop and wheat crop. These will need to be threshed until the grains have released from the stalk. If you do not have a thresher yet, you will have no use for any of the two crops as you cannot eat them as is from the wild. The flax grains can only be eaten, while the wheat grains can be grinded into flour and then made into bread. Flax and wheat crop can be found all over Europe, but the more south and east you are and or the closer to Neolithic timeline you are, the more likely you are to find them in higher amounts. Remember, you need Neolithic influence in order to make bread, so if you have a thresher during late miso, you will have to do with only nibbling on the grains till you have enough Neolithic influence to get a mill and an oven. The tribe does not particularly love eating the grains though. Next on the list we have beetroots. They are found both in the wild and in your farms as cultivated crops. They thrive everywhere in Europe and can survive fairly cold weather, so these can be found also in the earlier Mesolithic timelines. And just like most of the food we have, the further south you are, the more amounts you are likely to get of the types that prefer a warmer climate. Remember when you are in Neolithic timelines, you will need to harvest the beets from the wild before you can plant them into your farms. Beetroots can be harvested from early summer, both in the wild and also in your cultivated farms. Then we have the berries. The category contains two types of berries, the strawberries and the blackberries. Strawberries need warm climate to have any good amounts, while blackberries thrive better in a more temperate, 
to cold climate than in the warmer areas. Strawberries can be harvested from spring, while blackberries will be ready for harvest in late autumn. Strawberries will not be found in the earlier Mesolithic timelines far north, while blackberries likely will. So if you want more strawberries, you will have to go south. Time for hazelnuts. They love the more temperate to cold climates and you will start finding them already in 8K BC in some parts of Europe. They are found all over Europe though, but if you wish bigger clusters of them, it is recommendable to go to the Alps or the more middle and northern parts of Europe. Hazelnuts are ready for harvest in late autumn and they are a nutritious staple to the diet in any culture and timeline. Of all food types that has not been processed or dried, hazelnuts will last the longest in storage. Next up are mushrooms. They will be found in larger amounts if by shadows of forests and mountains. They do not thrive particularly in cold weather or specifically very hot weather without good shade but they will do really well in more damp areas. They are ready for harvest in late autumn and can be found anywhere in Europe in very varied amounts though, purely based on temperatures. Then we have pine nuts. They are very nutritious nuts from the pine trees that can only be found in a small area in southern France and northern Spain. They are harvestable from early autumn and you will start seeing them already between 8 to 6k BC, pending temperatures. Pulses or peas are the last crop type we have of the four. They are fairly sturdy and can be found in most areas, but are more likely to be prevalent everywhere in Europe, closer to the Neolithic timeline due to the climate. They are harvestable late autumn going into winter time, and as with the beets, wheats and flax, the peas will need to be harvested from the wild before you can plant them in your farmlands. Roots can be found everywhere in any timeline and even as early as 10 KBC in some of the northern parts of Europe. The amount of them will increase with the temperature. Roots can last for a very long time in the ground, thus creating edible roots through several seasons. They are harvestable from spring and throughout summer and autumn, sometimes even through winter. Rose hips are sun-loving plants that will thrive best in all warm conditions. They are popular in the tribe and can last a long time in proper storage. You will find them everywhere in Europe, but you are not likely to find them in early Miso in the more northern parts of Europe. The more southern parts will be able to enjoy them though from approximately 8k BC in some of the warmer areas. Rose hips are harvestable from summer. <laughs>